And since I have no idea where my last video left off, you got a microphone input to get the uh, Chad Kroger Nickelback style lo-fi stuff or a delay vocal or a huge reverb thing. You got a trim pod on that, which I have no idea what it does. You got an effects return right here. Maybe I should put the camera down a bit closer. There you go. So that's the effects return uh, left and right. And then you got uh, that's cool because you can put two or you can put a stereo thing in that. And then you got uh, an effects send right here. You got the input for the Variax, which is Line 6's guitar. Uh, Spadiff out, which is some sort of optical digital thing or something like that. You got a MIDI outer through and a MIDI input here. And you got a USB cable so you can download other people's tones and stuff like that. And obviously your power switch. So, um, yeah, that's the basic outs and ins and things like that. Um, let me see, where do I go from here? Like right now. The way I set it up is, like I said, clean to dirty, or clean to lead on that. So it's really simple to look at when I'm doing this. If I'm on a dirty song in one of my songs, I just go to that. And if I want to go up to a heavier rhythm thing, I just do that. And then finally to my solo. Um, yeah, and you know, the tones are really good. You got anything from a Fender Deluxe Reverb to a Bogner Ubershaw to an Angel, uh, or to a, uh, what's the, what is it? angle p-ball that kind of thing so it's got a lot of var or variety in tone you got a, you got uh, vocal um, sorry uh, vocal preamps and that kind of stuff you got a bass or like 28 bass models and stuff it's a killer it comes preloaded with uh, two banks of uh, bass uh, bass tones acoustic tones yeah I don't know what else much to say really there's uh, the one thing I found is I didn't really see these knobs here so I was trying to use the uh, bank selector if you can see that there it goes don't know if there's any way to focus that or not sorry um yeah so you got that it just switches through there or you use it to save but you got those four knobs around there that switch the different uh, options through and stuff like that um output wise it's really cool because you can use either a uh, live out uh, for quarter inches for like a live situation like if you're going to want into an amp or into uh, just like a DI or something like that, but that sort of really doesn't necessarily have to happen because you got the uh, XLR out on here, which is all a really nice feature on it. I use that most of the time. Um, yeah, you know, the tones are really great in this. Um, if you want to check out some people that use them, Lincoln Brewster's a huge one on that. He's unbelievable. He's a great player. He's got killer tones. Um, yeah, I don't know who else uses, uses this specifically, but I do. <laughs> and yeah, you know, in the next video, I'll show you a couple of the things you can do with it. So, toodles.